پارلمان انگلستان کنفرانس به مناسبت روز جهانی منع خشونت علیه زنان ایستادن در کنار زنان ایران در نبرد برای دموکراسی و مقابله با خشونت دولتی پیام خانم مریم رجوی و سخنرانی شماری از نمایندگان مجلس این عوام و عیان از احزاب مختلف انگلستان خانم مریم رجوی روز جهانی منع خشونت علیه زنان روز رسوایی استبداد زن ستیز حاکم بر ایران است که خشونت و تبعیض نسبت به زنان را با قوانین زن ستیز و تحمیل نابرابری حقوقی، شغلی و اقتصادی رواج داده است زنان نیروی تغییرند و این زن ایرانی است که سرانجام رژیم ولایت فقیه را سرنگون می کند. ما گفته ایم و تکرار می کنیم نه به هجاب اجباری، نه به دین اجباری و نه به حکومت اجباری. حمایت نمایندگان مجلسین عوام و اعیان انگلستان از احزاب مختلف از مبارزه زنان ایرانی علیه رژیم زنستیز آخوندی و حمایت از آلترناتیو دموکراتیک شورای ملی مقاومت ایران فراخان نمایندگان پارلمان به دولت انگلستان لیست گذاری تروریستی سپاه پاسداران روز سشنبه ششم آذر به مناسبت روز جهانی مبارزه با خشونت علیه زنان، جلسه ای در پارلمان انگلستان با حضور شماری از نمایندگان مجلسین عوام و عیان و فعالان سیاسی برگزار شد. این جلسه با هدف حمایت از زنان شجاع ایرانی و محکومیت خشونت و سرکوب سیستماتیک رژیم ایران برگزار شد. در این جلسه شماری از نمایندگان مجلسین عوام و عیان انگلستان، خانم دولت نوروزی نماینده شورای ملی مقاومت در انگلستان و شماری از شخصیت های سیاسی و مدافعان حقوق بشر سخنرانی کردند. سخنرانان از جمله عبارت بودند از اعضای مجلس عوام سر راجر گیل از حزب محافظ کار باب بلکمن رئیس کمیته 1922 حزب محافظ کار در پارلمان انگلستان جیم شانون اعضای مجلس اعیان بارونس اولون پروفسور لورد دیوید آلتون رئیس مشترک کمیته بریتانیایی آزادی ایران لورد جان اسپلار از حزب محافظ کار لورد دالاکیا از حزب لیبرال دموکرات بارونس فرما از حزب محافظ کار بارونس فستر اوکستون از حزب کارگر لورد هکینگ از حزب کارگر و لورد مورو خانم مرگم رجوی رئیس جمهور برگزیده مقاومت ایران در پیامی به این کنفرانس گفت روز جهانی منع خشونت علیه زنان به همه به خصوص زنان یادآوری می کند که اراده خود را در این مبارزه متحد کنند دیر بارانس اولوم بارانس فرما آنربل لومیکرز دیر فرنز گود دی تو یو آل آی سند مای گریتینگز تو یور گادرینگ اون دی اوکیژن اف دی انٹرنیشنال دی فور دی الیمینیشن اف وایولنس اگینست ویمن First, I would like to honor all the women who have risen against violence and oppression. Brave women who endured brutal torture in the prisons of the religious dictatorship ruling Iran. Women who sacrificed their lives. 
the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women reminds everyone, especially women, to unite their will in this struggle. No society can progress without ending violence, oppression and exploitation against women. The International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women is a day to expose the misogynist dictatorship ruling Iran, a regime that has executed or tortured tens of thousands of PMI women and female freedom fighters. In the 1988 massacre of political prisoners in Iran, the vast majority of female prisoners from the PMI were executed. In the 2022 protests, Iranian women showed their leadership role. During those protests, the regime arrested 30,000 people, including many young girls and boys. The United Nations fact-finding mission stated that the suppression of peaceful protests and widespread discrimination against women and girls have led to serious human rights violations by the Iranian regime. Many of these violations are considered crimes against humanity. The report mentions the killing of uh, 49 women and 68 children during the 2022 uprising. The uh, mistreatment and unjust sentences against imprisoned women continue. Recently, Maria Akbari Monfared, one of the longest held female political prisoners in Iran, was sentenced uh, to an additional two years in prison. She was arrested 15 years ago. Uh, the regime increased her sentence because uh, she filed a complaint about the unjust execution of her three brothers and a sister while in prison. The regime has promoted violence and discrimination against women through misogynist laws and through legal, uh, professional and economic inequality. These conditions have led uh, to many tragedies, including uh, expulsions from universities and other jobs, insecurity for women, widespread sexual assaults, forcing young girls into marriage and the uh, trafficking of poor women and girls uh, to other countries. Violence against women in the streets continues. The Mullahs have assigned uh, 32 uh, ministries and government agencies to impose compulsory hijab on women. Meanwhile, uh, through various methods and uh, tactics, uh, they aim to limit the struggle of Iranian women uh, to the issue of hijab, preventing it from becoming a fight for freedom and democracy for the entire society. The women of Iran are uh, shouting, with the hijab or without it, on words to the revolution. Their motto is women, resistance, freedom. Their friends, uh, how many through repression, mass executions, warmongering and export of crisis seeks to prevent an uprising. The world is witnessing uh, the evil role uh, the mullahs play in spreading war in the region. Governments must no longer delay the uh, designation of the IRGC as a terrorist organization. The Mullah's regime has fully violated the nuclear agreement. The first urgent and necessary step is to reactivate the snapback mechanism and restore the six UN Security Council resolutions. Inside Iran, the mullahs have uh, intensified censorship 
arrests and repression. The regime's president, Pezeshkian, who presents himself as a reformist, defended the execution of prisoners last month. He took office in July, but in this short time, uh, the regime has executed around 500 people. Despite all these people's protests continue in workplaces and on the streets, including by nurses, retirees, and oil workers. Young women have joined the resistance units to end the ruling tragedy and overthrow the Mullahs. Women are the force of change, and it is the Iranian women who will ultimately bring down the Velayat al-Faqih regime. We have said and continue to say no to compulsory hijab, no to compulsory religion, and no to compulsory government. Many years ago, the National Council of Resistance of Iran adopted a plan on the rights and freedoms of women in Iran. Subsequently, on behalf of the Iranian resistance, I presented a plan emphasizing on the elimination of all forms of oppression, intimidation, and discrimination imposed on Iranian women and emphasizing on complete gender equality in all areas of family, social, and economic life, as well as active and equal participation of women in political leadership. I expect the Honorable United Kingdom lawmakers, especially my dear sisters in both houses of the parliament, to protest against the arrests and imprisonment of women protesters in Iran and support their struggle against the regime. I further urge them to recognize the legitimacy of the struggle of the Iranian people for overthrowing the regime and the just battle of the resistance units against the revolutionary guards. I thank you all.